Hello, Common Sensors, friends, family, fans of the show. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today we are going to look at um, a, a, a posting on the internet that takes people down the rabbit hole to sovereign citizenship. Thank you for tuning in today. If you like my content, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. If it's your first time here, wait till the end of the video and then decide if you want to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It's a great and free way to support the show. Also, I have an email list below. Sign up for my email list. Get a free PDF on a history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement written by yours truly, Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. I am an actual, authentic, real, practicing lawyer here in the state of Pennsylvania. I know some people in the comments like to say otherwise. Before we dive into uh, this interesting piece of sovereign citizen rabbit hole literature, let's do our same time sip. Today, no Diet Coke, no water, no alcohol, no, no, no. The all-time greatest beverage of all time, coffee from none other than Dunkin' Donuts. I'm a big fan. So grab your coffee, your orange juice, your morning or afternoon beverage, and cheers. Ah, nothing like it. Tastes delicious and gets you high. I mean, come on. What can be better than coffee? Okay. The, the, let's stop there. Let's stop there. I'm sure there's a lot. I'm sure there's a lot that is better than coffee. Okay, friends, common sensors. What I have in, I will put the link to this uh, in the in, below. Um, I was on Reddit, and it looks, it appears that this was posted in some sort of blog. Okay, and it's basically an advertisement for uh, for sovereign citizens, and this is how they suck people in. So let, so it was a post. It says, "Assume the post in the blog starts by saying, assumed name certificate." Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Quick question. How many would love to become free from illegitimate business government? How many are sick of being exploited upon via unlawful, immoral, unconstitutional statutes, codes, regulations, taxes, registrations, licenses, etc., etc.? How many would love to become one with their creator again? Whatever it is you believe and become free from illegitimate business government. How many would love to travel without being harassed for not committing an actual crime and especially without a victim? I'm pretty sure by this time I've got your attention. If so, then it's real simple, folks. So simple and inexpensive that you'll crap your pants. What if I were to tell you that very few people, th thousands versus hundreds of millions and even billions, knew about this? It's true and by design, too. Only those who know about the ANC are truly free because they understand commerce, contract law, the one in which you're held under duress in. Once you file, register your ANC, you become name holder, executor, beneficiary, 910 possessor, 110 controller of your government created birth certificate corporate name. They no longer have jurisdiction over you because you finally claim to be a living man or woman and not a corporation. Become free, this is all in caps, become free from the cult and file register your name via the assumed name certificate. I've been free since March 28th, 2019. Have a great day, folks. And then there's a reply to this comment, and it's, uh, it's from L. It says, good afternoon. I'm very interested in doing this. have been conducting research. What website can I do this on? The next response is, good day, so and so glad you're interested in actually freeing yourself from the matrix this video here explains exactly what is going on there are others as well but this is the shortest I'll share a video that explains how to digitally fill out your ANC Secretary of State of Minnesota is the only state that files properly because of the supposed wording first middle last versus surname okay so I then went and clicked on that website or I'm, and it's a YouTube link to a YouTube channel called the human frequency and I listened to a couple minutes of it. it number one they said in here that this video was short it's 45 minutes long 
I don't know if that's a, who, in whose book that's a short video, okay? It was a 45 minute video. So the first thing I want to talk about is that these sovereigns, okay, these people selling this crap, um, they have an advanced, they use advanced marketing techniques, right? They have, um, first of all, one principle of marketing is that if you can mirror what people are thinking or something that they've thought about before, okay, then you instantly become more persuasive. And you can see in this, they talk about how many would love to become free from illegitimate business government? How many are sick of being exploited? Blah, blah, blah. We all feel that way to one degree or another. Okay, the people who feel that way the most part have probably been involved in the justice or the legal system in some way, and they think they got a raw deal. So I believe that this appeals to them. Um, so they read this and they say, oh, he's he's catching uh, what I'm thinking, all right? And then they take you down this further rabbit hole and then hit you with the sale right at the end. Become free from the cult, da 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 um, It's hilarious. It's just the, the right to travel is maybe the funniest part of it all, that they bring up the right to travel in this. It just cracks me up. I, oh, I can't get over it. So... Um, when you go to this, well, number one, it's uh, they're selling something here, okay? They are selling something here. They're selling you an assumed name certificate. Here's the other funny thing about it is if you buy the certificate and like file it in Minnesota or whatever, once an individual has taken those steps, they've started to go down the rabbit hole. And then when Minnesota denies them or whatever, they're going to go back to these people and say, oh, what happened? And then, and then they're going to double down. And it creates this, this cyclical feedback loop that draws people further into the sovereign citizen rabbit hole. Now, some will get kicked out and say this is BS. Honestly, these people really don't care because as, once they've landed the sale, why could they you know, they're not going to give a shit. Once they've landed the sale, they don't give a shit. So that's all it's truly about. But it does it does start people down um, the rabbit hole, I believe, of becoming sovereign citizens. And that's their exact goal here, to try to illegitimize the government, tell people to drive without a license. It's nuts. It's nuts. So uh, I was I was impressed with their advanced marketing techniques. They put this in the blog, and then they have this response, and then another response, I imagine that was set up too, okay, because he didn't actually post the link, he or she didn't actually post the link in the initial blog post, so it makes it look like they're not trying to, to send you somewhere else, okay, they're, they're using deception, and then someone responds to it, and then they post the link, so it looks like this natural conversation, oh, you asked me about it, now I'll put the link out there, and then that, that has that makes people turn off their defenses to salesmen okay i mean i i'm an attorney attorneys are, are practically salesmen okay and i want people to watch my show and and support here but i'm 100 percent honest about it okay i'm telling you straight up everything that i say okay is honest this is a this is a deceptive sales technique okay that likely works that likely works on a lot of people all right, and I, I, I don't approve of it. I don't. I mean, it's effective, but that doesn't make it right. Um, if you listen to that video, they go into talking about conspiracy. It's, it's wild. It's really wild. Um, you know, I'll put a link in here if you guys want to take a look at this. Uh, it, but the, the, the other thing that this reinforces is that blog posts, the internet, the internet as a whole, I, 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 ultimately I think it's a good thing and I think social media is a good thing, but there's no doubt, there is no doubt that the internet, social media, blogging, etc. allows for the massive spread of disinformation. And that's probably one of the reasons the sovereign citizenship thing is growing. And then they tell you that they are freeing you from a cult. Um, if what, you know, 400 million, 300 million people in this country do on a daily basis, if that's the cult, okay, and your little weird, uh, fake word nonsense group, um, that gets people thrown in jail is not the cult, then 
you know, I'm doing something wrong. We're all doing something wrong here. But again, you know, that's if 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 you're a cult, you call somebody else a cult. That's again, that's sort of a that's sort of a persuasion uh, technique there. So um, this was hilarious. This is a little bit of disinformation. I wanted to confront it. It was posted on Reddit, uh, and I I just want people to be aware of the the BS that goes on out there. Uh, so thank you for tuning in today. Short video, 10, 11 minutes. I'm trying to keep them all under 10. I'm missing here today. Um, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe, like, comment, share. Uh, sign up for my email list below. Get a written, uh, a PDF, three pages long, large print, uh, on the history and explanation of the Sovereign Citizen Movement. Um, thank you for tuning in.